Thank you. I now have the honor to give the floor to the Institute for Reporters Freedom and Safety. Thank you, Mr. President, distinguished delegates. My name is Amin Husseinov. I'm an Azerbaijani investigative journalist and anti-corruption activist living in exile. We are grateful for the opportunity to address you and the member states today, as well as other colleagues, to share our experience and practices in fight corruption. Unfortunately, in many countries, this fight remains a matter of life or death. In several nations, kleptocratic regimes aggressively targeted journalists and anti-corruption activists from civil society, putting them under persecutions and harassment. Despite all of the challenges, these individuals persist in their crucial work, often completed to operate from abroad due to oppressive conditions in their home countries. Even if the international community ratified the United Nations Convention Against Corruption, some countries show a distressing loss of political will and refusal to implement its provisions. The space for civil society is shrinking, creating more challenges for activists operating in exile. In this 21st century, era dominated by technology, these individuals use digital platforms to continue their vital work ensuring the fight against corruption beyond the borders. However, sustaining this effort in exile poses financial challenges with a glaring lack of funding. Financial backing is essential for ensuring accountability in the face of adversity. Regrettably, some countries and donors are withdrawing support for anti-corruption programs due to dangerous circumstances faced by the activists. In this critical moment, we appeal to the global community not to abandon those courageously working to combat corruptions and to support anti-corruption anti exile-based communities. If anti-corruption investigation cannot be conducted in the country, it's imperative that exile-based communities lead these efforts outside. Positing intimate knowledge of their respective countries, along with their necessary resources and contact. These communities are uniquely positioned to conduct cover investigations that can be exposed corruption networks. And to strengthen the resilience of anti-corruption activism in exile, this is producing need to increase core funds. By bolstering financial support, we can empower these communities to persist in their essential work, safeguarding the values of the transparency and accountability. Their delegates and colleagues, it's heartbreaking that these days some countries arrest well-known journalists, hindering their fight against corruption. Some countries poison political opposition or anti-corruption activists whose were about them remain unknown for days or weeks. Some countries imprisoned activists, economists, and famous economic scholars under bogus charges, and these people must fight for their life in the prison. In solidarity, we must collectively condemn such actions to create an environment where journalists and anti-corruption activists can operate without fear of reprisal to fight corruption together. I thank you, Mr. President. 